97. Good year. Boy, am I glad that uh, it's been a while since we tried to record this. So all yeah. the jokes I'm about to reuse, I don't actually think I'm reusing them. It's like you're telling them for the first time. For the first time. It's like playing that video game that you haven't played in ages. That's the system we're playing it on. That's the Nintendo 64. Message from General Pepper. Not anymore. Priority 1. Priority 1. General Pepper sent an email with a little exclamation point. We need your General help. General Pepper is the sort of person who would Android do the read receipt thing. War. You know it. <laughs> General Pepper wants to know if you read this email. <laughs> G- General Pepper is cosplaying in Bison from Street Fighter. He really is. He really is. He's got a button on the front of his mouth, too. Does he Does he spam that one, like, charge attack like, over and over and over again? <laughs> To you, Andros invading the Lilat <laughs> system is the most consequential moment of your lives. Dude, these guys are booking it they down this hallway. They got some wheels. Like this, Sheesh. this is straight up like initial D Euro beat <laughs> speed right here. <laughs> Just the amazing long corridor that they have to run through. They do this every time they have to get into their ship. I do appreciate that they had different like running speeds based on like the length of their legs. Like <laughs> Slippy, Slippy over there is just booking it. <laughs> he's, he's, also, it really should put the barracks a lot closer to the R wings. Right. <laughs> like, that's that's a long hallway for no. Apparent that's their reason. commute right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you go get me something from the fridge? Oh yeah, sure. I'll be back in thirty minutes. <sighs> like one wet floor <laughs> sign would have ended some. <laughs> Dude, you get to the R wing, you forgot your keys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what do you do? Just push it out into space and hope for the best. <laughs> hope the trajectory is correct. Oh wait, wait. Oh, hey! And they follow it. Yeah, this blew my mind when I so, was a kid. Can, can we play Star 64 R Fox? R Fox. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, uh, wait, uh, wait, yeah. wait. It was there for a moment. No! Oh! <laughs> Screenshot it, your favorite. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Screenshot to select your title. Just make it into a gift. Press it in the right time. Yep. Alright, main game. Star Wars scroll. Corneri, oh. Fourth planet. Very little money. You know what what game has like an almost identical like kind of scroll to this is Mega Man Legends. Oh yeah. Like the opening screen has like the same kind of speed, the same sort of static background. You mean the game that you're gonna be recording soon for the channel? Nah, I mean you know Tune in people. Uh-huh. General Pepper you know our strange patrons over on Patreon from actually get the complete list James of what we're McLeod, planning on recording Pigma for Dango season 6. Oh, That's buddy, terrifying to know. Here's, here's hoping they don't leak that. <laughs> <laughs> or expect it. And James and Pepe were captured by Andor. We do have some good stuff coming for you guys this season though. I think I was very careful with my language though. I think it's like, here's what we've got like planned or like targeted right. for years. Yeah. This, and Yo, here's our wish list. The right? system. Dig the General the 240p rendering of the by Fox McLeod, the pictures up there. Right. And this would be some the good backgrounds system. for your Nokia engage. They literally look like finished like Picross puzzles. Mm-hmm. Aw, that's a good game. Great game. The Lilat system. Lilat. Lilat. There's always a Z nebula. Mm-hmm. This one's got an X and a Y nebula. There were there were uh, sectors X, Y, and Z in the SNES one, weren't there? I'm pretty sure. Isn't it the same system? I, yeah, I mean, it's... Is it the same system? Like, well, Lilat? it's all the Lilat system, yeah. So, I mean, if you're starting on Corneria. Right, yeah, it's, it's always Corneria. Venom. It's the same, yeah. Okay. So, so wait, we're going back to Venom? What <clears throat> happened? <laughs> this place is called Venom. Do you really expect it to improve? <laughs> Fair. You might probably have to edit some coughs. Yeah, I'll do what I can. Appreciate it. Um, so the way the game works, you can see that these planets are kind of la- like laid out in a grid. Mm-hmm. You got the two arrows, or the two lines going from the top to the bottom out of Corneria. So each level has a hidden objective. If you meet that objective and finish the level, it moves your path that you're taking to a level, to a higher path. So there's three paths, lower, middle, and top. Okay. Top is diffi- most difficult. Middle is, you know, middle and low is the path you get if you screw up all the objectives. Yes, yeah, you don't meet the, the secondary to-do for each thing. Right. So why is there, like, a shiny ball orbiting every celestial body here? 
That is a fantastic question. I think it has something to do with the fact that I haven't met the conditions for the metal. Okay. If you kill enough enemies... Oh, yeah, because they're not, they're not uh, surrounding the first two right. on the top and bottom path there. So if you kill enough enemies, each level has a threshold. If you hit that threshold, you get a medal for that planet. If you get medals on every planet, it unlocks hard mode for the game. Okay. Cool. So we're going to do... Yeah, there's, there's some solid replay value in this. Oh, one. there's a lot of replay value. Yeah. yeah. It's about replay. time you showed up, Fox. You're the have you oh, seen oh, the whole oh, Dude, we <laughs> ran for, like, hours. Andros won't have his way with me. Oh. Language. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least Greenberg joke I've ever heard from right. Greenberg. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Venom, though, like if I'm remembering right from the SNES one, because I played that one a lot when I was a kid, wasn't there like a descent level, like when you're Open above the, the planet, and then like before yeah. you actually? I mm. loved that level. Those are great. Growing up. Speaking of Venom, so you get injected with Venom when you get bitten, um, and you know what else? Get bites. Yeah, this is the incredibly pained metaphor. Delightful taste of Bark's root beer. It's the root beer with bite. This is such a stretch, but for, for, for Bark's, I'll allow it. Anything for Bark's. Please sponsor us. We've only been asking for six seasons now. <laughs> we, we promise you're our favorite can to drink. Six seasons and a sponsor. I can also proudly say that uh, we have more followers than they do online. Oof! Flex on them! I just you know what, Barks, you're welcome to follow us if you want. I mean, it's not like we're waiting for it anymore, but you know. You may have fight, but you don't got a social media team. <laughs> oh man, I wonder if they're hiring. <laughs> Imagine. Like, Coca-Cola doesn't have money. <laughs> <laughs> you can't expect it a micro product like that. So. Lasers. So you get those laser pickups. They You have two additional tiers for your lasers. This one gives you a double laser, the blue, the blue one is the final tier, and that gives you super fast rapid fire. Yeah. And, and that's what you have to keep for the playthrough if you want us to be Really kind of the oncoming enemy ship to fire nowhere near you, but just enough to give you a trajectory of where they're coming exactly, from. Exactly, you know? It's, 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 it's real considerate, honestly. It's really good sportsmanship, and you have to hand it to Everybody stay alert! We'll do our best, Peppy. Gold standard rail shooter like mechanics in place. Yes. Yeah. I, so I, I think I mentioned it before on the on the channel, but um, growing up, there was a great schism in my household where my brother and I played video games together all the time. Like we, just, whether it was an NES, SNES, or a Sega Genesis, those were the three systems we had. We played them a lot together. But then the N64 and the PlayStation came out, and we got them around the same time. He got the N64, I got the PlayStation, mm, and we never hung sense. out again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are completely different worlds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it was really more to our strength anyways. He loved kind of shooters and adventure type things. Mm. I was the RPG guy of the family. And it sounds like you both got the best idea systems. Oh, absolutely. But uh, that being said, we were both pretty territorial about... Um, because, I mean, we were both always on it, so it's not like we ever wanted to let the, uh, the other play whatever. So, I never played this game, even though we both love Star Fox. Hey. Meanwhile, Matt is just kind of rolling this planet. For the most part, it's an easy planet. So, the hidden objective for this one is you have to go through all these arches. Ah. Once you do that... Yeah, so going the breeze move flying, and then you get through them, Falco leads you off the main path behind a waterfall, and that's how you get to the hidden boss. Me, there he goes. Uh, gold. So silver rings reduce, uh, replenish your health. Gold rings also replenish your health. But if you collect three of them, they extend your maximum health. You can only do it once a level. If you do that a second time, or while your your maximum health is already extended, you just get an extra life. Okay. Yo, so Falco's a gamer. They like going straight to the waterfall. Like, oh, I know there's a hidden path <laughs> behind here. <laughs> In a very fast moving vehicle. Uh huh. Don't worry about it. There was always the gamble when you're playing like a uh, movie theater racing games. It's like there's a waterfall over there, and I am going <laughs> at dangerous speeds. Either I go through it and I beat the game, or I crash into something and have to put in more quarters. Movie theater racing game. You can just say rush. <laughs> no, I was thinking of um, cruise. That's true. No, what was the one jet ski game? Hydro Thunder. Hydro I was thinking Thunder. Hydro Thunder. Great one. There's no water. 
This boss is easy. His mouths, you got three mouths that open up. Just this is like a... Bust him off, mouth is open. This is like a one-to-one -one of the fir first boss in the first game, isn't it? Is it? Oh my god. It's similar. Very similar, though. Yeah. It, it had mouths that opened and closed, kind of similar to this. The only... only disappointment I have with this canary yeah. Is the music in the SNES controls. so good? So, oh yeah, but, oh yeah, you're not gonna touch the music there. Yeah, but. that's like the goaded stage one thing right there. Who are you guys? I don't think I took a hit. Who are you guys? Star Fox. We are Star Fox. You Actually, you're Star Fox. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you know that? You're dead. You're not when, I was, <laughs> when I was really young. I thought that little A on his hat meant that he was Andros, and I was like, <laughs> I just <laughs> did. <laughs> We're heading out. It All says mission accomplished one. if you did the little oh, nice. MacGuffin. If, if you don't, it says mission complete. I always appreciate games that go out of their way to tell you when you accomplished hidden objectives like yep. that. Like, there's a lot of games that just okay don't. There, you just have to hope. Like, one of my favorite games in the world, another one I plan to do for this season, is Cave Story. There's a oh lot of gosh. hidden little things you can do to get, like, the best ending. But it doesn't tell you it succeeds until you get to that part of the game. Mm -hmm. And you get to go to the to the, the last area. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, or, like, um, like, Undertale. It gives you breadcrumbs at the end of the game, like, what you need to do to get the other endings. Yeah. And if you happen to kill somebody along the way, well, I guess you're restarting, bud. Well, no, because the first the first run you have to do is is automatically going to be the neutral ending anyway. Oh, but yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, you have to go back. I appreciate it, yeah. that Peppy Slippy Falco there is in proper RGB sorting. That is true. That I don't is, know why, but it's it's the little. It's things. satisfying. Yeah. It's very satisfying. They they knew. Just another thing that this game does right.